<clears throat> so what's up everyone so maybe a lot of you are looking for a way to make an export setting with an h265 or hebc encoding uh, that export a 60 fps video so in this tutorial i will teach you how to make one for yourself uh, that has a 60 fps export like like this one so you can see it is a uh, nine, 19 by nine, uh, this is a 1080p video with 60 fps that i can export in hbec so i will teach you how to do this but first uh, there's a requirement that needed uh, before you are able to do these settings you need to own a compressor so if so you need to get this before you can make the settings so here's how we will be doing the settings so if you don't have the compressor you will be able to only make the sim uh, what's uh, the you can only make what's available here and you can you cannot add other settings because all of these settings if you just have the compressor you can only have this one so either 10 bit or 8 bit this has this settings has a limit of 30 fps so apple devices settings is no good since we want to export the 60 fps so example so this one is the apple devices export with hbec so it is limited to only 30 fps and you cannot change this one since it is a predefined so what we want is to create a export with 60 fps or higher so here's how first uh, you need to open your compressor and these are the settings that are available so these are the settings that apple provided which is only limited to 30 fps and here's the settings that is fixed so you cannot change so to achieve that we need to make an hbec uh, with a custom set custom settings uh, that has a higher fps so first uh, you can either use uh, a format that is not limited to here you can either duplicate from anywhere you want but you cannot duplicate on this one since it is fixed so here I will duplicate the H HD 1080p so duplicate so this is the 1080p H back H E B C so this is the 20, 1080p and up so first we'll modify the settings so the, our custom settings frame size is set to 1080p so you can choose from either of these so you can choose automatic so this will uh, use your current source frame rate uh, current source frame size and in frame rate you can use this as automatic or set is set to automatic 60 fps or you can use a 120 so 120 can be achieved and you can leave the other settings and you can choose the codec whichever codec you want to use but we are focusing in the in H E B C this is the H265 and you can change the bit color to either either of your choice so web publishing is lower uh, if you want the, the higher one we can use custom or we can use automatic so we'll use the source but I will stick with the web publishing as is, it is a bit lower maybe there's an implication with the quality so you can choose automatic so you can use your current settings or you can use custom and set your current uh, bit rate so the data rate so it will increase the possible output size as you can see here it is 55 gig but if you can use web if, if you set to web publishing it will be a lot smaller so the settings here you can include the met metadata or preserve alpha you can just check if you want then in audio 
you can set to either one so I want to keep it at 48 kilohertz and AAC then you can add uh, you can add audio effect after the output there's also a video effect here so you can you can add you can use a noise reduction and you can use color correction you can set those okay so, since we already made our settings here and it is saved uh, just open your final cut pro and create a destination so add destination compressor settings it will appear in the custom settings so it is here so you really need to uh, the compressor or else you won't be able to get these settings even these values you won't see this one if you don't have the compressor so you need you need to own the compressor so add to destination so this one is your uh, new output which with HBEC so if you use that to export you will see it has a 20 FPS so it will be converted to 120 if you use automatic it will uh, it will show us uh, as the source so if you have 30 fps video it will use 30 fps if you have 60 it will use 60 uh, like this it is set to automatic so it is using the source 10 20 and that's all folks thank you for watching